What's on my bladed mother gunners? So I got a confession to make. Bought my first cold steel katana. Usually don't fuck around with cold steel katanas because they're overtly tip heavy. But I got a deal. And plus, I was looking for something purpose built. So without further ado, let's get the cold steel chisa on the table. Check this short fat boy out. Let's do it. What the fuck is that guy? I'll just attack one of in the hills with too many guns. So I was really not in the market for a new katana. But this popped up on Midway USA for an awesome deal. And I recently snapped my Honshu Boshin beater katana in half, which was 1060 steel. Handled pretty well. She died a long death. So I needed a new one. So the reason I picked Cold Steel Chisa is because it's short and it's thick. I need something that's gonna withstand the abuse that I'm gonna put this specific katana through. Though I know some of you out there are offended that you, I would do that to such a magnificent piece. But the reality is, Cold steel, well, cold steel doesn't make shit. I believe it's, I forget, I'll put it in the description who it is that manufactures cold steel katanas, but I had previously found when I held a cold steel katana, again, never owned one, they were now. overly tip heavy. They were not fun to use or swing at all. And you've got the black lacquer side here that's just a magnet for thumbprints and that's what you're seeing there. You can see my, my fingerprints all over that bitch. She's a filthy slut. Let's go ahead and get her out of here. Slight fit already on the saya. We'll have to loosen that up. Do a little bit of shaving. Look at the size of the thickness. Bad motherfucker. She is a thick and stout blade. Good 1060 steel. Check out the socket on that. Get nothing special. You can't for the life of me remember who makes for cold steel. But you can see, I mean, this is, I think this is part of the Warrior series. I mean, again, a beer blade. That's exactly what this is. There is no beauty. There is no purely beer blade. I did lacquer the Ito down. I turn it up on camera so you can see the little white goobs on it because I didn't use gloves to see the suka bone arrow whatever the F it is motif gray skin the slopping we've done kooky pegs Pretty much all she wrote. Really nothing to write home about other than just look at how the thickness stretches the whole way to the top. There's gonna be no break in this one, and that's what we need. Overall for, I think I paid a little bit over 200 for it. Because it was on sale at Midway USA. I'm happy. I just don't have a spot for it until I start selling some more katanas. Anybody want an HSTS? Hit me up. Let me know. Got lots of Hanways too. Lion dogs. 
bamboo mats, all the high end shit. Fuck it. Yo, thanks for watching this shit. <laughs> FJB. <laughs>